Item number, SCP-6718. Object class, Apollyon. Level 5-6718, top secret. Special containment procedures. As SCP-6718 has already occurred, containment is impossible. Description. SCP-6718 refers to an anomalous event that resulted in the permanent cessation of all afterlives. The cause and mechanisms behind SCP-6718 remain unknown, but the following observations have been made. All individuals who were previously deceased and in some form of afterlife have been permanently lost. Devices or methods utilized to access the afterlife or revive individuals are no longer functional. Anomalies related to the afterlife or afterlives have been neutralized. Footnote 1. Examples include SCP-2922, SCP-5572, SCP-6435, and SCP-4069. Given the gravity of this situation, all related personnel are to prioritize SCP-6718 research and containment efforts until further notice. End of file. Access SkipNet email. One new message. 2. Tactical Theology. Group. From. Maxwell Jameson at skip.net. Subject. SCP-6718 My name is Maxwell Jameson, and I was once a prominent member of the SCP Foundation. I am writing this letter to you with a heavy heart, as I have been diagnosed with brain cancer, and the doctors have informed me that I only have a few weeks left to live. This news has given me ample time to reflect on my life, my beliefs, and what comes after death. You may have heard about me through the grapevine, as I was once the head of tactical theology at the Foundation. I worked tirelessly to research, analyze, and understand the various afterlives and beliefs that exist in our world. It was a fascinating job that allowed me to travel the world and interact with people from different cultures and beliefs. However, everything changed recently when an unprecedented event occurred, which altered the very fabric of reality. All afterlives, including the ones we studied and documented, suddenly ceased to exist, replaced with eternal nothingness. As you can imagine, this news came as a shock to me, and it has left me grappling with my own mortality. The thought of death has always been a complicated and uncomfortable topic, but with the sudden absence of afterlives, it has become even more challenging to process. We were so preoccupied with understanding the complexities of the afterlife that we never truly considered what would happen if there was nothing after death. I have spent countless hours pondering the concept of eternal nothingness, and to be honest, it terrifies me. The thought of being devoid of all sensation, emotion, and experience is a scary prospect. The only thing that comes close to this experience is our existence before we were born, which we cannot recall. Throughout my life, I have remained resolute in my desire to contribute to the betterment of the world. My academic record speaks to my drive, as I consistently achieved the highest marks, and my professional career has been dedicated to making meaningful strides towards progress. I have always pressed on, not looking back or entertaining distractions. For 50 years I have been employed by the Foundation, and yet I feel as though I have squandered that time. All the while, I obsessed over SCP-6718 and its ties to the afterlife, as if it was the key to unlocking some profound meaning. My efforts were misguided, and only served to isolate me from my loved ones. As I near the end of my life, I recognize that the most crucial aspect of existence is how we choose to live it. I regret my singular focus on this meaningless pursuit, and the impact it had on my relationships. My wife's final moments were spent without me, because I was too preoccupied with my own fear of death. It is a painful realization. I've spent my years doing nothing but pointless research, and now I truly know it was a waste. All of my effort was for nothing in the end, and now I'm going to die. I will die a life where I never truly lived. So this leads me to my point, and that is to embrace life, cherish your loved ones, and make every moment count. Take the time to tell the people you care about how much they mean to you, and don't be afraid to show your emotions. Life is too short to hold back and hide behind a facade of strength and indifference like I did. In the end, what we do with our time on this earth is what truly matters. We can choose to let fear and uncertainty dictate our actions, or we can take control of our lives and make the most of the time we have left. 
So go out there, try new things, take risks, and create lasting memories. Make your life count, because in the end, that is all that truly matters. Thank you, whoever got this message. Secure, contain, and protect. And live while you still can. Thank you all so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to Everborn, Joe Light, The Bone Man, Rubbishbin69, Tannis, Ruler of All, and Doomsday LLC, Prince and Design. If you'd like to help support the channel, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.